Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I wanted to show you a cool trick or at least what I think is a cool trick um, or tip on uh, grouping your acts, your uh, labels within your legend on a chart. So as you can see here, I've got this chart where I've got some series, the blue ones are on the uh, go correspond with the left axes and the ones um, here in green and orange correspond with the right axes. And uh, I've created a grouping label of left axis and right axis. I've even got a space in here to break those up. So uh, let's show you how to do that cool technique. All right, so here's my original chart and uh, we're gonna do all of this just within the chart. And so what you want to do is first select your chart, then you want to find your design ribbon under chart tools, and you want to find the select data button in the data group. Now in the select data button, um, you're going to come up with this dialog box and under legends, entries, and series, we want to add a new one. And in this case, we're going to add one and we're going to call it left axes. And I'm going to change the series value to zero so that it does not appear as a actual value within the chart. Click on OK. As you can see, it's already added that within my legend over there. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and add another one. And we're going to add right axis. And we're going to uh, give this a value of zero as well. And finally, I'm going to add another one. And in this case, I'm just going to add a space bar. So the only text that's going to show is a space, which will show nothing. I'm going to change that value to zero so it doesn't show up in my data as well. OK, so now we have um, the groupings. We've got that blank, the right axis, and the left axis. Um, however, uh, I need to get left axis on top of South Coffee and North Coffee. And in order to do that, I need to actually move that series that I just created to the secondary axis. So I'm going to click within my chart anywhere and click on one of the series that you see. And you'll see up above, you can actually see the series that it is related to. And if I'm just going to press my up arrow keys until my series changes to that left axis series. Um, there's some other ways you can select these as well. Uh, head on over to my blog and search for how to select an unselectable series. And you'll see a couple of other ways to do that as well. Now that I have my left axis selected, uh, or my left axis uh, series selected, I'm going to press Control 1. And holding my Control key down and hitting the number 1 key, I'm going to move this to the primary axis because all of those new series that I created were automatically added to the secondary axis. But I want to move the left axis to the primary. And notice it has jumped up to the very top of the list that I have here. So it um, seems like I've got it set up just the right way we want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to also, I want to change and get rid of that gray value that you see in that left axis by going to the fill menu and clicking on no fill. Let's click on close and uh, you can see we're getting our grouping to work the way we want. Now I'm going to select this, another series again. I'm going to press my up arrow key, down arrow key until I get to that right axis series. I'm going to hit control and the number one. And I'm going to leave this on the secondary axis because I don't need to move it anywhere. Um, and I'm going to go to Fill, No Fill, and click on Close. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. Select a series within your chart until you get to that blank or space series. Press Control and the number 1. Go to my Fill and do No Fill. Now, uh, you can see my groupings are done. Uh, there's no uh, color reference, so it just looks like it's a label that we're, it's showing up there. Uh, so we've got everything we want. Now, if uh, for some reason your uh, axes aren't showing or these titles in your legend aren't showing up in the right area, go back to your design ribbon, go to the select data, and you may have to, let's say I wanted that space um, above or below the right axes. You can see if I go down, here's that space one, here's the right axis one, and I can move them up or down with these buttons here. So I could actually put the space below right axis. So if you're having any problems, you can uh, go ahead and move the axis to where you need it to be. Um, in my case, it just worked out perfectly because of how the, my data was set up that it was able to uh, um, get completed. So hopefully you found this tip and trick uh, really cool and you might use it to group some of the values in your legends uh, so that people can easily say, oh, the left axis uh, or these colors are um, a certain region or what have you. Um, so perhaps you can save some ink when you print out your charts. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Head on over to my blog and find some other great tutorials 
Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.